Let's look at four steps to stop the cycle of overspending. Step number one, figure out what your spending behaviors are. If you find that you're regularly overspending, it's important to take a step back and figure out what's causing this behavior. Do you tend to overspend when you're bored, when you're feeling stressed, or when you see something that you really want? Once you've identified your spending triggers, it's much easier to start making changes. If you know that you often spend when you're bored, for example, you can make a conscious effort to find other activities that can occupy your time. If you find that you overspend when you're feeling stressed, on the other hand, you might want to explore other coping mechanisms such as exercise or journaling. By understanding your overspending triggers, you can begin to break the cycle of overspending. Step number two, track your spending. The next step to stop the cycle of overspending is to track your spending. This means recording every penny you spend for a month, whether it's cash, check, or credit. At the end of the month, review your records and see where your money went. You may be surprised to find that you're spending more on eating out than you thought, or that you have a shopping habit that you weren't aware of. Once you know where your money is going, you can start making changes to curb your spending. For example, if you find that you're eating out too often, try cooking more meals at home. If shopping is a problem, cut up your credit cards or only allow yourself to shop once a month. By tracking your spending and making changes accordingly, you can begin to regain control of your finances. Step number three, make a budget. The next step to stop the cycle of overspending is to create a budget. A great way to stop overspending is to try the envelope budgeting method. This method involves dividing your expenses into categories and assigning each category a specific amount of money. For example, you might have one envelope for groceries, one for entertainment, and one for bill payments. Once the money in an envelope is gone, you can't spend any more in that category until the next month. This can help you stay within your budget and avoid using credit cards to cover your costs. Before I move on to the last step, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be the first to see my next money-making video. Step number four, use cash. Credit cards are convenient. They allow us to make purchases without carrying around a lot of cash, but they can also be dangerous. It's all too easy to overspend when you're using plastic, and before you know it, you're buried in debt. One way to avoid this pitfall is to use only cash for your purchases. When you only have a limited amount of cash on hand, you're much less likely to overspend. You'll be more mindful of your spending, and you'll be less likely to make impulsive purchases. Plus, you'll avoid the high interest rates that come with credit card debt. So if you're looking to get your finances back on track, using cash is a great place to start. Click the video on the screen to see another money-making video.